For my last night in Turkey, upon returning to Istanbul, I really wanted to experience something opulent. I booked a night at the Ajwa Sultanahmet, one of the city's most fabulous hotels in the old quarter. So I'm enjoying these little dates, but I have to be very careful. Uh, as you know, I just had my teeth done in Antalya and I would not want to bite into this. That would waste a lot of money and a lot of pain of dental work. The design theme of the hotel is actually inspired by Azerbaijan, so throughout there is magnificent wood inlay furniture. I've just arrived to my room. This is a regular deluxe room. It's nothing special in and of itself, but the room just is decorated with such taste and ultimately the reason that I chose for my last night to stay in Turkey in a hotel versus an Airbnb one is just the simplicity of the check-in process. I didn't want to have to deal with all the Airbnb stuff for just one night. It's not worth it. And I just also felt like for my last night I really wanted to be somewhere opulent and special. Not that the last two weeks, especially the last week in Antalya and having that gorgeous sea view hasn't been opulent, but Without further ado, I really want to show you this room because it's so pretty and the decor and just everything, the way that they do the inlays and the technology. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around because you don't want to see my face, you want to see this room. Walking in from the right side, we have the little mini bar area, a very large flat screen TV that is inlaid into the mirror. This is a city view room, but honestly, there's actually not a view of the city. There's just a view of the building that is adjacent. A gorgeous bed that seems like it's going to be so, so comfortable to sleep in. Ah, and look at how beautiful those lamps are on each side of the bed with the damask wallpaper and all of the inlaid lighting. My luggage is here, but the piece de résistance, honestly, is the bathroom. I mean, I have not been in a hotel with a bathroom this luxurious since I was in the Ritz Paris when I was 17 years old, thanks to a friend coming to visit me. And just look at this. Look at the tile work on the bathtub and the gold fixtures. Honestly, Donald Trump would feel quite at home here. It's just fabulous. With luxury amenities as well. Can't get, I just can't get over all of these little details here. Like they, they put the face towel in its own little gorgeous pillowcase. And then, I mean, wow. Just look at that attention to detail and everything. And a big space also, even just for putting and hanging your clothes with the automatic lights when you open it. Everything has really been thought out and just beautifully done. So the price of this room, I think I'm paying just under $300 for the night. It was something like I think 250 or 260 euros and right now the exchange rate is quite favorable. Though I asked them to charge the rate in Turkish Lira because any time that they would charge a currency that is not the local currency, there's some kind of bank markup. So if your credit card does not charge you, any international transaction fees, it's always better to get it charged in the local currency. I will attempt to show you some other beautiful areas of this hotel which I have yet to discover, but inside here they do have a hammam, a gym, a restaurant, which apparently I've been told is great and beautiful in the morning. I'm gonna sit down and tell you a little bit more because there's more to this story. Um, Getting to the hotel from the SAW airport, which is not the airport that I arrived originally internationally in, but um, is used for other flights. It's on the Asian side of the city. I was extorted by a taxi driver, and I'll get into that in another video, but basically when I told this story to the reception, they said, I'm so sorry, that's not representative of Turkish hospitality and we would like to offer you a free breakfast because originally the room that I had paid for, I did not pay for the additional breakfast. So tomorrow I'm gonna to film the breakfast and apparently what is a very beautiful restaurant with a gorgeous view upstairs. Right now as I just got here from an hour of flying and arguing <laughs> with the taxi driver who speaks no English, I think I need to take a breath and uh, then we can meet again. 
The spa area in this hotel is absolutely gorgeous. They have everything that you would expect from a resort in Turkey. They have the Turkish bath, they have the steam room, they have the sauna, they have a fitness center, and it's all just so beautiful. Look at their Turkish bath space. I have an hour and a half, or actually even maybe one hour, before I need to leave this gorgeous hotel and this amazing country. So I figured what better way to spend it than in the bathtub. With these fabulous molten brown coastal cypress and sea fennel bath salts. Oh, the lighting in this bathroom is not attractive. I hate overhead lighting as a note. Oh, see here too, I'm like lit by overhead. I need Mariah Carey's lighting specialist to just follow me around so I can always be lit properly. But anyway, I'm gonna have a relaxing bath and then I need to just finish up my packing and then I will be heading to the airport for my next destination. Can you guess where I'm going? The bath was as luxurious as you can imagine. After a thorough soak, I headed upstairs to the breakfast service on the top floor, which offered a panoramic view of the old city and a delicious buffet range of options. I opted for a mixed salmon scrambled eggs with lots of coffee and orange juice. So being that this is my very, very last day in Turkey for ever, or for who knows how long, I wanted to have at least one last typically Turkish dish, and I asked what could I have? And so for dessert, dessert breakfast, I'm having halva, I think that's what it's called, halva. And it's made with sesame and some natural sugar. I'm not a sweets person at all, but I just thought this is my last day. I need to have something that's typically Turkish because Turkish people will be upset with me but this entire time I haven't tried baklava and uh, so this is my last chance, my last typically Turkish thing. Actually, since I'm flying Turkish Airlines to Madrid in business class and will be in the lounge, they may have some Turkish delights there. So maybe actually it won't be my very last Turkish dish. 